Now, I don't want to freak you out, but something bizarre has erupted in the depths of space. It was an explosion brighter than billions of suns. But the real mystery is that it doesn't match anything astronomers have ever seen. Usually, cosmic events like this follow familiar patterns. But not this one. It's a cosmic anomaly. This strange cosmic explosion has left astronomers totally baffled. It could be a super rare event where everything lines up just right. Or it could be something completely new, never seen before. This event was first detected by an X-ray space telescope called the Einstein probe on April 8, 2024. It first appeared to be a regular gamma-ray burst. Those typically give off incredibly bright X-rays. But could the answer really be so simple? Something didn't add up. Now, gamma-ray bursts are the most powerful explosions in the universe, and they can happen in unusual ways. Long-duration gamma-ray bursts are caused by the demise of massive stars that spin incredibly quickly. When these stars run out of fuel, their cores collapse under gravity, forming an extremely dense object, like a black hole. At the same time, the outer layers of the star are blown away in a massive explosion called a supernova. Gamma-ray bursts are followed by jets. Those are twin beams of material shooting out from opposite sides of the collapsing object. They're super fast, moving at nearly the speed of light. These jets appear brighter if they're pointed directly at us. It's like how a flashlight beam is brightest when it's aimed straight at you rather than at an angle. Now, back to our unusual cosmic explosion. Remember me telling you something wasn't adding up? Hey, it was just 45 seconds ago. Well, the problem was that when multiple telescopes observed this event in different wavelengths – ultraviolet, optical, near-infrared, radio X-rays, gamma rays, <laughs> you name it – it didn't match any known type of event. The most likely explanation, according to current research, is that this explosion is the result of a white dwarf star being torn apart by a medium-sized black hole. And still, it's not so simple. Now, black holes are areas in space where gravity is so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape. That's why they're called black holes. It's believed that stars with at least three times the mass of our Sun can collapse under their own gravity once they run out of their stellar fuel. When a star has so much mass packed into such a small space, its gravity becomes so powerful that it forces everything, including atoms, to squish together. This intense density leads to the formation of a black hole. So when a white dwarf star is torn apart by a medium-sized black hole, it results in a high-speed jet of material that can be aimed directly at Earth. So could this space disaster be the reason behind our mysterious event? Unfortunately, even though it ticks some boxes for several types of phenomena, including the one involving a white dwarf, it still doesn't fit all the criteria for any of them. The event's short duration and high luminosity are hard to explain using any scenarios we can produce. So does it mean we have come across something completely new? The universe is full of energetic flashes caused by outbursts from stars and black holes, supernova explosions, stars being eaten by black holes, and other cosmic events. Astronomers usually figure out what these events are by analyzing their duration, frequency, source, and the specific combination of wavelengths they emit. Here, I just have to say a few words about the instrument that discovered the space anomaly. The Einstein probe is an X-ray space telescope project led by the Chinese Academy of Science in collaboration with the European Space Agency and the Max Planck Institute for Extraterrestrial Physics. That's a mouthful. This project is all about studying high-energy space events over time. Its main goal is to find inactive black holes and figure out how matter falls into them by spotting X-ray flares produced by these sudden space events. The Einstein probe also hopes to catch the electromagnetic signals from events that cause gravitational waves, like when neutron stars merge. It also keeps an eye on the whole sky to spot all kinds of space explosions and track already known changing X-ray sources. After the Einstein probe detected that ultra-bright space flash, 
The event was also observed by a few other ground-based and space telescopes, including the Nuclear Spectroscopic Telescope Array, SWIFT, Gemini, Keck, Dark Energy Camera, Very Large Array, Australia Telescope Compact Array, and Neutron Star Interior Composition Explorer. Eh, that's a bigger mouthful. Using all this data, astronomers pieced together the event's characteristics, but it didn't make the case any clearer. Quite the opposite. It just deepened the mystery. This event flared up in soft X-rays for the first 10 seconds, then plateaued at a steady glow for about four days before fading quickly within another day. This is much longer than typical gamma-ray bursts, which usually last from a few milliseconds to several hours. But it was still not long enough to fit into other known categories. The event's brightness in X-rays was also unusual. It was too bright for some types of phenomenon, but not bright enough for others. The most puzzling part is that the Very Large Array didn't detect any radio emission from the source when it was observed 11 days, 158 days, and 258 days after the initial flare. And normally, when something this bright in X-rays lasts for this long, it's usually associated with a luminous radio counterpart. But in this case, no radio signals were detected, which is very strange and adds to the mystery. Astronomers didn't give up and considered several other possibilities, like fast blue optical transients. Those are a new class of explosions that release huge amounts of energy and blast matter into space at incredibly high speeds. These bursts are so powerful that one F-bot can be at least 10 times more powerful than a regular supernova. Fast blue optical transients do look like supernova explosions, but they are much faster. They flare up and fade away much more quickly than regular supernova. They're also much hotter, which makes the light seem bluer compared to other supernova. Since these explosions happen so quickly, it's tough to figure out what causes them. In January 2019, astronomers narrowed it down to two causes – a black hole consuming a white dwarf star or a rare kind of supernova that leads to the formation of a neutron star or a black hole. Now, another explanation for our mysterious space explosion, and astronomers think it's the most likely one, is a tidal disruption event. It happens when a black hole swallows a star, causing a flash of light. When a star gets too close to a supermassive black hole, it doesn't get off easily. No, the black hole's powerful tidal forces tear the star apart breaking it into pieces and pulling it toward the black hole. Its remains turn into a stream of debris that falls toward the black hole's accretion disk. However, before the debris settles into the disk, it overshoots the black hole in an elliptical path, only to be pulled back in. At one point in this path, the debris collides violently with other parts of the star being pulled in, and that's when we start to see the first bursts of emissions. In some rare cases, tidal disruption events create huge jets of material that shoot out from the black hole's poles. If these jets happen to point directly at Earth, we can see the signature of the event. It often looks like an intermediate mass black hole eating a white dwarf star. However, there should still be some radio emissions coming from the jet of a tidal disruption event. The reason none have been detected yet might be that the event was likely observed too early. Previous studies suggest that it can take hundreds or even thousands of days for the jet material to slow down enough to start sending out radio signals. If future observations pick up radio emissions, it could help solve the mystery. But if there are no signals, it might mean it's a very unusual gamma-ray burst or something completely new that we haven't seen before. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.